Here is what you need to know about California groundwater rights. The first thing you need to know is what is groundwater? In California, we divide water into surface water and groundwater. Surface water is water flowing on the surface of the ground, underflow of that surface water, or water flowing underground in a known and definite channel. Groundwater is percolating groundwater, which is water in an aquifer. In California, we generally have two types of rights to groundwater, overlying rights and appropriative rights. The overlying right is very much like the riparian right to surface water. In fact, sometimes overlying rights are described as riparianism tilted vertically. They're based on land ownership, and the groundwater pumped out of the ground must be used on the overlying land and within the groundwater basin. They're not lost by non-use, they're not quantified, and they're correlative. The appropriative right to groundwater extends only to water that is surplus to the needs of the overlying owners. Other than that, it is very similar to the appropriative right to surface water. First in time is first in right. If you don't use it, you can lose it. It's a right to a specific quantity of water. It can be exported from the groundwater basin and used anywhere. And that's generally what you need to know about overlying and appropriative groundwater rights. Except that an appropriative groundwater right can become a prescriptive right. But that's a topic for another time.